You're listening to Rolling With Tay Podcast. I'm your host, Tasia, a.k.a. Tay, and this is episode three. We're interviewing my good friend, Thomas, a.k.a. Tommy, um, the owner of Chamel NYC, um, an apparel line. Um, He's been skating since he was a a kid, basically. So I want to talk to him about his journey skating from a kid into adulthood and what keeps him skating. So, Thomas, a.k.a. Tommy, (laughs) how you doing? Yo, what's good, Tay? How you doing? Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for being my first guest. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's an honor being on your podcast. Good looking. (laughs) Thanks. Um, So I've known Tommy for a long time, since we were toddlers, basically. Our sisters were good, basically best friends. And, you know, it's only right that (laughs) we became friends. Uh, We were so close, or we're still close. But back then, I would call Tommy my cousin. She, yeah, uh, she friends. She still call me her cousin. I... <laughs> but you from the mood. From the mood. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. What got you into rollerblading? My main thing that got me into rollerblading, just seeing, uh, like I said, they had the, you used to have the X Games on back in the day. Um, just watching that. I never really was into the skateboard. Uh, too many tricks on the bike. I ain't got time to be trying to figure that out. And I always, um, I ain't really wasn't too much into ice skating. But when I did do ice skating, I kind of felt like rollerblading was right along those lines. So I really got into it just, just to do some jumping down some steps and running around. I like I like to be on my feet more. So I felt like rollerblades were like the best thing. Nice, nice. I remember watching you, Big Nelson, aka Flo, <laughs> um, Prince and BJ all on rollerblades and roller skates doing tricks. And you guys know my inspiration. Like, uh, I, I want to be like you, you know? And it was something different. So basically, anything you did, I was trying to copy. <laughs> just, to, just to let you know, like when you took karate, I was like, oh, I, I got to take karate now. You took martial arts. I was like, hey, parents, sign me up. And then when you got some rollerblades, I'm like, all right, I I, I got to get some. And when you guys started doing tricks, Tony and I were right there doing tricks, trying to do the tricks with you guys. Even though y'all were better than us at the time, we were still trying. Like, we would fall, get back up. Like, nah, we got we got to try that again. Jump down those steps again. Jump down those steps backwards. Like, you guys were our our X Games. Like, I didn't even watch the X Games. I watched y'all. No, nah, big shout outs to my man Flo. Definitely. Uh, that was the, and Prince and BJ, they definitely was the main ones that got, I mean, everybody talk about they used to go to Skate Key and all that stuff. Yeah, we did the Skate Key. We did all that stuff. But really, really before all that Skate Key stuff, it was, uh, we used to jump on the rollerblades just to be going crazy and holding on to the side. You can't hold on to the side of the bus on the bike. But you, I mean, you can do it, but you can't really do it and get away with it. Like we was getting getting busy holding on to the bus on the on the side and stuff. So that was like the hypeness and the funness. Young dumb stuff. Don't do it now. But <laughs> that was the hype when we was at when we was young, though. Exactly. I I don't think I did that back then. But <laughs> but yeah. you guys were. Uh, uh, definitely inspiration. So, did you, did you still, like, in your teenage years, right, into your young adult years and going into college, did you still skate? Yeah, skating has always been a part. I always keep it somehow, some way in my life, somehow, even if I go a year, two years without doing or actually getting on a pair of blades or whatever the case may be, I wind up always having it somewhere in my life because that's my way of exercising, even though it kind of sounds funny. Um, like, I only exercise for a year, but no. I mean, I only exercise once a year, but no. Um, I get on the skates just because it's a groove, and, like, that right there is my, my work, my workout. So I always kept it with me anytime I um, – anyway, I, w- I would get on a pair of skates when I lived upstate with my sister and rollerblade to the gas station. 
and rollerblade back to the house. So, you know, I, I rather those, I prefer that than a bike. So, yeah, I just keep it. And like I said, it's my, my means of my fountain of youth, to be honest, which would keep me agile on my legs and stuff. Nice, nice. So, I know for me, I I I would do it on and off <clears throat> after, like, college. I didn't really do it, didn't really skate during college. Um, after I came home, you know, I was looking for activity, and I still had my old rollerblades from when I was younger, so I would rollerblade, I would do the West Side Highway, I would skate around, you know, the neighborhood, skate, you know, local parks. And then I stopped for a while because my skates <laughs> got raggedy. <laughs> so I stopped. And last year, you, everyone knows about 2020, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Let me pick up another hobby because I already cycle. So I, I wanted to get back into skating. So I bought some in, uh, inline skates from Inline Warehouse and just started skating again. And that that's what got me back back into it you know and and like yourself I've always done it to it was different than riding a bike and um I try to push myself to go further and faster so skating down the west side highway um and I'm talking about the greenway um <laughs> skating uh, along the Hudson Greenway um while everyone else was basically riding bikes that I was trying to like kind of chase them and I and I last year I did see a lot of people much more people with rollerblades on um I even looked for um groups of people um Facebook groups and found some some groups that met up and we even went to uh, a few of their events yeah those are the, that was actually the first time I've ever um done anything like that in a big group where it's a bunch of people just rollerblading that was real dope and i support that uh that 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 whole movement right there um but the covid going back to the covid definitely covid have you doing new hobbies and stuff like that and definitely that when you called me for that link up to go down there and uh rollerblade and stuff like that that was like totally dope and i know i've done that about three maybe two three times with you and um shoot uh, I can't wait to start doing this some more because the summer's coming on. So, but uh, yeah, that definitely that right there is just I, that was that's the the dopest thing I, I see right there is that movement. That movement was super dope. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you. And I the same that was the largest group of people I've skated with. Not that particular event, but you know, since finding. Um, a community to skate with because I've always been, you know, by myself. If I, when I was younger, I would skate with you guys. But then as I got older and, you know, people moved away and people didn't pick up their skates like that, I found myself kind of skating by myself. And then finding out that you had some skates, I was like, oh, let's go, Tommy. Let's, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's get it. And I was so happy that you actually joined me and that you enjoyed it because, you know, it's it, it's like like you said, you're found of founding of youth and keeping active, you know, in a different way than uh, than what you may be used to. Because I know you you play basketball and and you're a part of some um, uh, teams, correct? Uh, yeah, I was at well before post uh, before pandemic. Yeah, I haven't gotten back into it, but yeah, definitely that's another cheat code right there that. The skates, the skates is a cheat code. If you nice on skates, if you nice on skates, whether it be backpedaling, uh, doing jumps, just nice where you can switch your feet around. When you get on the on a court and you run backwards, you should be you won't trip over your feet, you know. So it gives you that kind of control and stuff like that. So that was always a my always my main cheat code for any type of footwork or anything power in my legs, anything trying to go from place to place, outrun somebody. If you could move on a pair of skates, you could move when you when them when them sneakers is on. So nice. So all the basketball players are out there, get yourself some skates. <laughs> Learn how to skate backwards. And then when you get on the court, you'll be all good. 
different from when you got the full, the full, the uh, the old school skates, and you got the quads, and you got like Rondo and stuff like that, and he doing the the uh, the dancing and stuff like that. That's super dope. Yeah. Yeah. Try doing that and actually racing somebody. Remember, we used to do races. That was our big thing back in the day, racing around the thing that like a relay race type shit. So. If you can move on a pair of skates, when you get them skates off your feet, you could definitely run. You definitely got some some leg strength. So that was always the best thing. Nice. Yeah, I agree with you. Especially combining activities that you enjoy and find, you know, like kind of repurposing. Like, okay, you 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 rollerbladed when you were younger just to do some tricks. Now you can you're not only rollerblading to stay healthy but you find another purpose like okay if i roll a blade and i get you know i'm building up my legs and this can help me on the court or this can help me run faster or this can help me cycle faster so yeah you brought up a good point i i totally agree with you because that's something that i keep in mind because like i said i'm a cyclist so i'm on when i'm rollerblading i know i'm working it's a, to me, it's a total body workout, but especially my legs and being on a bike, I'm going to have to pedal. <laughs> so I know that it's, it's building my legs in a way that, um, cycling isn't really, you know what I'm saying? So I totally agree with you on, on that. Shout outs to my movie airborne. I can't forget that. That was the main reason why I wanted to skate and roll the blade. And my man was doing too many tricks and when he was doing them races he was speeding down them hills and i always in my head that was that was our snake hill in the bronx that was our hill going down our block and so i was always hyped doing those type of speed runs and stuff like that just based off of that movie so that's another reason why i definitely wanted to get into the the skating so yeah that's dope because i remember that movie and you probably told me about it and watching it and like I yes, this has to be us. Tony, this has to be us. <laughs> like we we're gonna have to learn these tricks. And and like I said, you guys motivated us, but we wanted to be better than you. Like yeah, you know, friendly competition, but we're like, all right, you guys are inspiring us, but now we wanna be better than you. So watching Airborne definitely to me push me to be better. Like, all right. I have to be better. <laughs> oh, this is what Tommy's. This is what Tommy's watching. <laughs> I made them joint that movie made me have. I don't think I had every pair of rollerblades that they ever had. Like even when they do the street hockey, my uncle brought me a pair of nice street hockey skates, and I was using them to rip and run. Like those were my Kanye's. Those are my Yeezys. Like my Jordans. My like those right there. Those are my skates right there. Cause I they were unbreakable and i was moving in them but though like every pair of skates they are like i mean different brands and stuff like that but but like different styles i've definitely had them just because somebody i think i told my my uncle I, I i like rollerblading and stuff like that and he brought me these joints not knowing that you know those ain't really like the skates that you moving around in but i made do with them joints and i ain't gonna hold you once i took the once I took that hard shell off in the front, I took that off and I had the nice little different styles. My 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 joints was looking dope. I might have to get me a pair of those. I ain't gonna hold you. Nice. Yeah, I I remember I remember the hockey looking rollerblades. Mm -hmm. I remember those. Those are the joints. You can move around and them. they were comfortable. Those are boots. Now they got the ones that and those are those were laced up. Old school laced up with a strap around the top, but they were like built like hockey skates that you play on the on the, on the ice. They was good. Like I, I mean, rollerblading is a beautiful thing, man. I, I, I and I say it because at first I definitely wanted to get into the do the bike tricks, and it's dope to do the bike tricks, and it's dope to do um the bike tricks are super dope, and it's dope to do the skateboard tricks. But it's something about being on rollerblades that you really got to, like, have. First of all, you automatically got to have your balance. And then, like, once you master your balance and then everything else after that, it's like, 
come on, man. You can't like you can't beat that. All that stuff is a skill. You see somebody on a pair of rollerblades and they doing some tricks, you gonna be astonished a little bit more than what you would see if somebody was doing it on a bike or uh uh a skateboard. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Even watching people on from quads to inline skates, it's it definitely is a skill that you have to have. And then, like you said, when you do tricks, oh my gosh, I watched I watched squat quad videos, people on roller roller skates, just doing tricks and the way they're moving. I'm like so impressed, and I'm like, damn, I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> you know, um, as far as the tricks, I'm like with the inline skating, like we did when we were kids, jumping and doing all that other stuff. I I've retired that. I just go for speed and, you know, the workout, but <laughs> I'm not going to do any of that. Um, last year, I remember when you jumped over this, this plant looking thing. I don't, it was, first of all, it was high and I was looking, you were like, Tay, watch this. And I looked and I'm like, is he going to jump over that? You sure did jump over it. <laughs> but the whole time I was like, please don't fall because you fall and hurt yourself. I'm going to have to call Rose and be like, uh, Tommy broke his leg. Uh, he jumped over this, this, this plant looking thing in the city. Um, you know, I didn't want to have to do that. I'm to, glad that you oh, made it. <laughs> and I'm glad that you still had it. I had to make sure the bones still had it. You know what I mean? It's 38. I had to make sure I still had the bungees to do it and jump off the steps. I had to, you know, I, mean, I had a couple of flicks jumping off the steps too. So, you know what I mean? It was type fun. Good, good run. Good, good, good ride. Good vibes. That that's that's dope. And like I said, I'm glad that you are still doing it, and that you're, you know, you like myself. We we found our joy again, which we already had for it. Like you said, we both kind of did it on and off, but um, a little bit more consistent now as adults on blades. And I I think that's dope. And I'm glad that I have, you know, someone that I've grown up with that I can still like, hey, what you doing? You want to go blade? You know, you want to go into the city? So I, I think that's super dope. Yeah, that's extra dope. Can't beat that at all. Definitely can't beat that. Nice, nice. So yeah. you, want, yeah. you want to talk a little bit about your apparel line? Like what type of clothing do you have? What What is Chamel LLC? Well, Chamel, the meaning of Chamel is comprehensive, complete. Um, Chamel, that LLC, the Chamel brand, is pretty much about comfortability. We promote comfortability. We promote health, growth, wealth. Uh, we, ta- we take heed that what everybody um, likes, what everybody needs, how everybody's, the new trends and everything that's going on. And we try to make our own, we try to blend a little bit of that in there with a little bit of our style as well. Um, we are on Instagram, Shamel, S-H-A-M-E-L underscore N-Y-C. Um, if you want to see anything, uh, all merch, all merch, anything that you need right now, you can DM and we send. That's our logo, DM. I mean, that's our motto, DM and we send. Uh, as well as website coming soon with a lot more of apparels new looks everything from pillows to blankets to bean bags to uh, food trays to laptop covers to lighters to phone cases we, we pretty much try to get our hands in everything and do everything um along the lines of as well as we going into the vending machine. So Chamel is pretty much a brand where so we all we got our hands in everything and we're pretty much right now all merch and stuff like that. Where that's what we're on uh well, crew necks, t shirts, sweat sweatpants, uh shorts, any type of you know, the, the khaki shorts, any type of we doing all style. We do short sets. Uh right now it's hot, so right now everybody, you know, nice nice short set for the barbecue and all that. You know, have you nice dripped out in some Chamel 
we uh we believe that less is better so we don't try to put a bunch of stuff on you and get all your stuff all loud and everything um as well as soon to come being that as well we're talking about rollerblading and roller skating uh we're in the process of trying to uh come up with some apparel for the skaters just comfortable shorts comfortable shirts uh maybe some gloves a helmet you know some to the extent where is are you comfortable book bag socks uh anywhere to that thing to where though to make you comfortable while you enjoying your ride um whether it be riding your bike or rollerblading but we definitely going to appear to uh uh the rollerbladers and the roller skaters that's a, that's what we're going for in our main success because we know everybody has something going on the bikers everybody that ride bikes they got their apparel um we definitely need some rollerbladers to have their apparel we're going to be looking for some models tasia <laughs> well you know need you to to promote that and uh rock that when you go out there and rollerblade and uh when we get a group and get this family going as far as these group of rollerbladers we'll have everybody dipped out in some chamel apparel and uh we definitely go with the vibes and, and enjoy and have a great vibe you know nice nice so you heard it here first chamel skate apparel yeah. <laughs> Shamel skates. Oh my gosh. This is so we already got tours with Tay and that that's headed up by Shaddy, right? Um, and we're gonna have skate with Shamel. Oh, that that's the, so everything's under tours with Tay, right? Um okay, wow, we got we got things going on. Yeah, yeah. Rolling out with got- Shaddy and Tay, that's the bikes. Yes, yes. Skate with Shamel. Woo! You know, I'm the CEO. I'm the found. You know, the founder of it all. But you know, I I want my people to eat. You know, oh my gosh, we are about to. So well, Shaddy's doing the bikes. You're gonna do the skates. Oh well, my gosh, tours with Tay is blowing up. Tours with Tay. <laughs> yeah. Right after that. Right after we drop the. Uh. Right after we drop that. The skate with us, uh, Shamel. We're gonna drop. We gonna be torn in between the you know the titles of it. It could be the Smoke with Chamel. Oh, or- okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, figure it out. I'm thinking more like Roll Up with Chamel, and you know what I mean. We have our little conversations and talk and chop it up. You know what? That's not a bad idea. And if you know Tommy, that's a great idea. I'm so, so yes, I I think you should run with that. I think you should. You sit here. I we- think you should run with that. Here we can have our conversations and see how we going, see how we do. I think you should run with that. That's a great idea. Definitely these tours with Tay and more, like said, we do these skates with Chamel, and we got to get this ASAP. So hopefully we'll be doing something as soon as, because uh, time is short. Hopefully we will be doing something this week. You know what I mean? Whether the weather provides it, hopefully we can do something this week, if not early next week. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's get on these skates and let's get on these bikes. That's what's up. Like, I'm I'm so grateful that I have, like I said before, that I have friends that are into stuff or getting back into stuff or finding their joy for these activities, you know, that I've been rocking out basically, you know, by myself for a little bit. Like, (laughs) I've been riding around. You know, except I, I, I am going to say I am a part of different cycling groups, but to have, like my, like I said, my childhood friends, um, partaking these activities is is so dope. You know, and uh, just quickly, you do get to you build these communities. I've I've built these communities and these friendships with these people that I have met in these cycling groups, cycling clubs, um in these skating groups, you know, skating clubs. I I I'm building, you know, a, a network of friends. But like I said, you know, having your childhood friends basically on the same path as on the same path as you is is super dope. And it's, it's you know, we're family. So having your family, you know, partaking these activities with you is nothing like it. 
But I really do um, appreciate you being my first guest. I appreciate you as, you know, being my friend, <laughs> my cousin. <laughs> I appreciate you, you know. And um, anything else you want to say before we close out? Thank you for uh, allowing me to be your first guest. The invitation, deeply appreciate it. Um, please, if anybody has any type of inquiries or anything and want to know what's going on, any type of merch, anything. Like I said, the Smell website will be up soon, but right now on Instagram, we are up and running. We've been up and running. Uh, L underscore NYC. You DM, we send. And uh, look forward a lot more great things going on in the future. We got a lot more stuff going on, so please keep us keep in your in your mind, thoughts, and, and look out for our, our new job. We got a lot of waves, and we got nice 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 definitely and i will put your information in the show notes and um i like i would like for you to come back on you know after we do some skate sessions um just to talk about you know just chop it up on how we feel (laughs) um so definitely i look forward to having you back on um and um yeah so this has been episode three uh, Rolling with Tay podcast. I'm your host, aka Tay, and thanks for listening. And see you on the next one.